the uh, forecast path for it, uh, for the storm, uh, has it coming into the um, Southeast Caribbean um, on Saturday as a category one hurricane. And uh, the forecast then expects it to weaken and uh, pass uh, south of Jamaica and quite a bit further south of uh, the Cayman Islands. We've been talking quite a bit in the early part of the year um, uh, about um, dust plumes. And um, hand in hand with dust plumes is the concept of dry air. All right, and uh, so um, the idea that the Hurricane Center have and that these, um, some of these models have is, is that um, the dust that's in the atmosphere and the dryness that's in the atmosphere is going to impact the intensity of the storm in, in the, um, not in the immediate sense, but as it comes further towards the central and the east and western Caribbean. Now, the Cayman Isles National Weather Service have been putting out public forecasts and have included the tropical, the initially from a tropical depression um, in its um, forecast um, documents. Um, and we started yesterday putting out what we call weather notifications. Um, which means that it's, it is starting to get to become something of a bit of concern for us. The two best sources to get keep informed um, is uh, the Cayman Islands National Weather Service and um, Hazards Management Cayman Islands. Um, they have a website in Cayman Prepared. The National Weather Service also has a, a government website, uh, www.weather.gov.ky. Um, and both of those will keep current information and more specifically have information that is specific to the Cayman Islands. Um, please also realize that um, you can get information from some of the local media um, and, and they will be um, trying to get that information um, in a Cayman sense as it were. One of the worst things you can probably do is go and look for international media um, information about this storm. Um, because one, a lot of those guys are not um, experts in hurricanes um, or in tropical weather for that matter. And uh, they don't know the Cayman Islands. Some of them don't even know where the Cayman Islands is located. All right, so um, stay tuned with your local media uh, and the National Weather Service and Hazards Management Cayman Islands. Despite what I say here now on, on the current information, um, let's understand that things change, okay? Um, this storm has, is, is relatively small. When storms are relatively small, um, they have a tendency, the models have a tendency to have difficulty in predicting the track and intensity, okay? So we need to take that into consideration. Um, uh, don't be caught left unprepared just because a forecast out four or five days out or whatever it is um, told you it was going to be a, a tropical storm by the time it got here. We, um, we still don't know for sure what is going to happen. It is a system that needs to be monitored um, given its track and how close it's going to come to the Cayman Islands. Um, obviously, you've got to um, reevaluate your home. Um, uh, make sure that you can board up the windows if you've got hurricane shutters and what have you. Um, some of the um, supplies and stuff like that, uh, a lot, uh, some of the supplies you can kind of wait until the last minute as, as it were, but you should have some of those supplies already starting to build up so that um, what you're doing as the storm gets closer is more topping up your supplies rather than replacing the bulk of them. This storm is um, not really a direct threat to us right now, but it is a system that we're gonna monitor.